Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Alliance invited for Bengali Kaistho M30, 5 feet 9 inches, working in a reputed software company in Kolkata. Contact 2466-2004. It was one fine morning in 2005, in the month of June, when my father handed me a piece of paper with the aforesaid words written on it. With a very calm voice, he said, we are going to give this as an advertisement in the newspaper for your marriage. All he was spellbound for a few seconds and then exclaimed, what? Then came the same reply. Now, my family members I knew were already looking for a girl for me and they treated my marriage as a project. <laughs> my father was a group leader, my aunt was the project manager and my elder sister, you guessed right, was the project leader. But I never expected that they were going to take this step. I was extremely scared of ads in, my news, in the newspaper because by then one of my friends had given an ad and received over 500 responses. <laughs> I did not want the letter, my letterbox to turn into a ballot box. <laughs> so, when my elders came up with a project plan of assigning a lifelong cost center to my otherwise happy and happy existence, I did put my foot down, vehemently protested to prove that no man on earth has been happy ever since he got married. <laughs> I had to discard my logical thinking and listen to what my elders said. Went ahead to meet Paramita. It wasn't a very tough decision to take, but did put a displeased look on my face before saying yes to my family members. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, in April 2006, Paramita and I went live with a joint venture project called Marriage. <laughs> <laughs> A complete yet unfinished man. <laughs> because I was being told that a man is incomplete without marriage, and after marriage, he is finished. <laughs> <laughs> but I am not finished as yet. Friends, let me take you back to the mid 70s when I was born in Burnpur in Asansol, where my father used to work in Indian Iron and Steel Company Limited. I lost my mother at the age of six and my father got a transfer to Kolkata and we landed up at our ancestral house. I did my schooling from South Point High School and my road to success in school was always under construction. <laughs> <laughs> Each and every time I tried to find the key to success, someone changed the lock. <laughs> As a child, I had media dreams and kept on changing my future plans. I had great passion for books, movies, music and of course cricket and football. I used to take part in quiz, debates, plays, dramas both in my locality as well as in my school and wanted to begin actor. The proposal was summarily rejected by my father. <laughs> I thought I had great passion for music. Wanted to be a music director like Ardi Varman. Soon discovered I could play only two instruments. <laughs> the radio and the tape recorder. <laughs> I wanted to become a doctor, but the chemistry of but the two of chemistry and biology prevented. <laughs> so I never understood the mystery of chemistry. Never got more than 40 out of 100 in that. <laughs> I even tried to see myself as Sachin Tendulkar or Marco Van Basten. Ended up warming the benches in the sidelines. <laughs> so back to books. I did my graduation in commerce and as a qualified cost accountant joined Calcutta Electric Supply Corporation in the year 2000 in finance department. I was extremely elated having got my first job, but very soon found sarcastic remarks from all quarters. By then, the year 2000, there were long duration power cuts, and whenever there was one, my close acquaintances used to tell me, hey, you guys really work? You pay huge electricity bills, half the time there is no power. I told them, trying to convince them that in no way I was responsible for power generation in CES. I continue to be a victim of that act. After three and a half years in CESC, I joined a Bengali publishing house 
in the costing department for a short stint of six months. Finally, in 2004, I landed up in TCS and things did change after that. Firstly, within six months of joining, I met with a fatal accident and became accidentally famous in TCS. <laughs> in this, I worked there for more than a dozen years in the sedentary environment and became horizontally challenged in one company that is Raymond's Rich. However, I had the most significant part was in the last nine years when I was been associated with Toastmasters. It has become an integral part of my life. Interested to know about my Toastmasters journey? Yes. You have to be there for my P2. <laughs> <laughs> Let me sign off my, for, with the basic philosophy of my complete yet unfinished life. Work hard, trust God, play fair, enjoy life.